All right, welcome to our second game of the evening, Heliophobia, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a Fear of the Sun. Also, David Gaderovich. I feel like I've heard his name before, but I'm, I can't quite recall. This is an aggressive menu screen. Glitch effects are used to convey certain gameplay elements. Users with photosensitive epilepsy may want to disable them. That's nice. All visual effects can be changed at any time from the pause menu, glitch strength, full, whatever other options. Fuck all. Um, brightness pre-configured to work well for most screens. You may want to increase it slightly. Yeah, sure. Heliophobia is an experimental work presented in non-linear format. While each player will experience it differently, all storylines will eventually converge. In the desert, I saw a creature, naked, bestial, who was sweating on the ground, held his heart in his hands, and ate of it. I said, is it good, friend? It is better, better, he answered. But I like it. Yeah, that's a really aggressive effect. Is this a plane or a train? Looks like a train. Try to interact. I have to do one thing real quick. Because I think the game might be a little loud. There we go. Sorry about that. Ah. What strange music. Record. JR is wronged us. How you end this is up to you. Regardless, you alone must end this. Find him, find your way out. JR? Am I flying to meet someone? Alien invasion? What the hell? Is that door open? Oh, I don't like this. Ugh. Q need to peek around without being Oh Fuck. Jesus. I need to move. Holy shit! God damn! Wow, that popped off awfully fast! Please leave. I don't know if looking at it is doing anything to me. Oh. JR believes that you are an innocent bystander. Opportunity has presented itself and the devil is waiting. Yeah, I think looking at it is doing something to me. Is it not going to go away? Pledge allegiance and silence about the war. Okay. Occupado. Oh, it's nice I can put the armrest up.
please only be on this point. Alright. <laughs> Tori, you forgot you hate horror? Okay. Oh, wow, I don't like being near it. Mother! Ugh. Just gonna try to exit near it then. Okay, no? What the sh- What am I supposed to be doing? Whatever, it doesn't like me being anywhere near it. Or I don't like being near it, rather. So, I'm just gonna not. Our time to stuck is remarkably low. Right, signaling for a flight attendant. Again, oh no, we are on a plane. So we got invaded by aliens on the plane. Exit row. Okay, so this is my seat. Haven't the slightest clue. Fasten seatbelt sign is on. Sherman suplex the alien. Touch him. I will toka toka toka. Look at that butt. What if I am in- Oh! That was too close. Shit, shit, shit! Did I just bug it out the first time? By not closing the door? Yeah, I think I bugged it out. I think it's gone now. Time to make a break. Oh, I work. totally bugged it out the first time. Whoa, I. Yup. This can't be real. We can't have you running off before your job is done. Please excuse us. The present accommodations, first class, was all full. We will be landing shortly. Do try and get some sleep. Down three times. Down once. What? There must be another way out of here. I will always love this uh, footstep found, uh, sound effect, by the way. Whoa. This is such an old, old, like, uh, uh, feet on metal sound effect. I recognize it from, like, at least 20 years ago. Left control. All right. I will say this game is doing a bang up job of being really unsettling. Especially in the beginning, I was uncomfortable as hell.
Yeah, we experienced a minor game breaking bug, but we fixed it. Um, otherwise, not bad so far. An incredibly fast paced opening 10 minutes. And an alien invasion horror game, which, oh my god, my heart, it, it, it's singing right now. I've wanted more alien invasion horror games for so long. I, like, one of the horror games that I've been waiting for the longest has been a game called The Hum Abductions, which is an abduction game. Whoa. Back to this. Wait, did we just start this over? Did we just start this over by looking at the picture? Maybe a return to the theater? Yeah. Ah, uh, the theater, a place of beauty, or is it an, or is it artifice? Uh, to the stage hand, they are one and the same. In each room, we have a, we have left a photo. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Why can't I read tonight? We have left a photograph. Look at these photographs. Perhaps they may jog your mem memory. Still lost? Take a look under the sink. could make such a strong alien abduction horror game. If we're reading this, then it's already over. You and I are one and the same. We won't remember a thing. Don't trust anyone. Find out who did this to us. Don't let the parasite live. Are we Dax? What are, oh, what are they called? The Trill? Hmm. No handle? It must be somewhere nearby. Sorry for leaving you in the dark, both literally and figuratively. The light switch by the door should still work. Hard to say those things have some sort of adverse effect on electrical equipment. Okay. JR. Oh, cool. A number on this place. Due to recent vandalism, we'll only be providing religious texts upon request. Hey! We're in a hotel. Whoever's pulling the strings wants you next. To them, you're just another name on the list. They're after me, too. Whatever you see out there tonight probably... Uh, whoever you see out there tonight probably isn't human. At least not anymore, JR. The fuck? Looks like he came out super hot. Another missing handle. Could be anywhere in here. Could even be. Not that. <laughs> oh, it's a wine glass. If you're reading this, get the hell out of here. Now, there's two X's on the other side of this floor. I hid the other doorknob in one of the lanterns above the bed. Just throw something at them to break the glass. Don't go home. Keep running. That's that one. So what can I actually throw that I have not yet broken? Okay. Oh. Oh. It's not that one. Why? Why did you hide the doorknobs? Of all the things! I wanted to make it very difficult for you to escape. I thought it would be fun as a prank. Tired? Grab a cup of joe at the diner on Clearwater. Open all night. It's a lot of electricity to light all that. 
Oh, holy shit. No, thank you. This is uncomfortable. In a big bad way. Fuck! No, thank you. Shit. What was that? The, well, the glowing arrow wants me to go that way. Oh. So I'm assuming this exit's no good. This door is locked by the time you get here. Try the one across the hall. If all else fails, you might just have to go out a window. Trust me, your chances are better out there than in here. Good luck, JR. Why? That sounded like it came from down the hall. Oh, new door opened up so I can get out the window. Man, don't like this. Oh, another one of these. Please no. Oh god. Ah. Owies. I hope my legs. Stand by, stand by, stand by, stand by. Not a fan of all the whispering. Not a fan. Let's just get all the gas going. Sure. Saw the photo. Okay. It's gonna be our next locale. Now, as you're going to bed tonight, I want you to keep the possibility of an alien landing and approaching you in sleep paralysis in mind. Just entering your room without resistance. Spiriting you away. This place is not safe. I've left a key for the building in the... Blah, 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 blah. Find it and get out before you, they find you. Meet me at the diner in Clearwater. Ah. The neon diner. Hmm. Hmm. Don't like that. Is somebody here? Mmm, don't like. There's these things can see, but not very well. It's safe to hide in the dark. Safer to hide in the dark. You'll have a hard time searching though. Pick your poison. Oop. Wonder if I can use the glass to confuse them. Make a noise somewhere and then make a break for it. Nope! God, they're fast! Okay. Which building, or which, which room is he in? Oh, fuck, yes. OK. 
Okay. Did I find the key? Got it. Yes. Now to get out of here. Oh yes. Now I'm gonna turn all the lights off wherever I fucking go. One of these has to be an exit. Oh yeah, we speed ran that level. We used the power of no. Encore, standby, standby, standby. Excellent, great. Of all that, so then this will be the completed photo down here. Yes, good. Wait, Barlow, are you serious? Someone here almost burned their house down trying to use their oven as a heater? Fucking fool. That low hum of fluorescent lights is a pretty, pretty good mood setter. You hear, alien friend? You hear? No. We have the super hot bartender again. Oh, I hope I don't wind up having to break a whole lot of these. Well, maybe not. They, there's like an AOE on the breakage. So, might be fine if I have to do that. Please only be on this point. Nah. Uh, nah. We have JR, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, we've altered the locks on the entrance door. You'll stay right here, and Agent will be by to pick you up later. Look forward to meeting you, the Gemini Society. Cool. Cool society you have. Oh, Jesus. There are all these polygonal people. Ah. Ooh. Bathroom out of service. Sorry for the inconvenience. Management. <laughs> They are all inconsolable. I will give them some booze to cheer them up. Mess with my orientation. Let's try that again. What a bouncy, bouncy, bouncy cup. Okay, that's probably the right direction since it's weird and we can traipse on it. I can hear her so clearly from up Locked. here. Uh, I hate there it. Must be some other way to get in. Ah. Uh, I better find the lights before I search this place. How about no? It's too late for me. Please, look through my notes before you leave. They may help you out of this mess. There's a door in the basement that'll take you to the sewers. Far too feeble to run myself, I'm a boy, I beg of you. Frank Mills, the owner. Was that a door opening downstairs? Fuck off. These doors. I hate them all. I hate all doors. Oh my god! You really want me to read your novel before I escape, huh? Okay. Joshua currently lives on the east side of 24 Park Street, apartment 16. This building is just a block from the Park Street station on the red line. Boy, uh... Joshua, age 22, occupation waiter, employee Mr. Allen, employer Mr. Allen. Notes Joshua was the only remnant of my failed marriage nearly 20 years ago. I would do anything for the boy. 
The boy uh, was acquaintances with JR at one point in time. However, he never told me how that came to be. I can only assume the worst at any, as any parent would. He has since cut ties, although may know about JR's whereabouts. JR, age 40 to 50? Unknown occupation employer, Gao Feng. Notes James Robinson. Uh, Robinson is a shady character. Joshua knows far more of him than I. He's not one to be trusted. JR works for Gao Feng in some regard. To what degree, I do not know. He is not just another brute like the rest of Gao's mob. Rumor is he was once a private eye. If I had to guess, his snooping business landed him in the hot water. Gao Feng, age 60 plus. Mob boss employer himself. <laughs> Gao Feng runs all of Chinatown behind closed doors. Power hungry, his seedy business often leaks into the nightclub industry. Oh my god, never content with just running Chinatown, it always wanted more. His goons have shown up to extort my business, along with numerous other club owners in the city. I don't have the manpower or influence to stop him, besides, I don't know where he operates from. In an effort to keep Joshua safe, I sent him to work in the, good, uh, in the food service business. Gao has not yet extended his greedy palms to the common restaurateur. Uh, your police seem incapable of thwarting his growth. His growth continues unchecked. As it stands, Gal may be the biggest threat to the Gemini society. While detestable, he may be the only one capable of finding me when I am taken. The only bargaining chip we would have is a letter I've given to Mr. Allen for safekeeping. The enemy of my enemy, as they say. What is this? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Which door opened? Oh. Oh. Something tells me I really don't want to go down there. Yeah, too. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. You're just going to stay in that one spot? You turn it all or anything? Anything that should, like, give me pause? Where the... F I'm gonna make a break for it. Oh shit. This was a mistake. Okay, you can just break stuff down. So I really do have to do this pretty quietly. But I think as long as I'm crouching... Even though I'm going through the lights, that might be okay. Yeah. Okay. What about this one? This one seems like a big problem. Oh! That's a really aggressive effect. Like it's so aggressive. Uh. Making good progress, aside from that little snafu in the beginning, which is not even my fault. Ah. We do this one. Nope. 
when it when the game said that it was non-linear, I wasn't expecting it to be player directed non-linearity. I was expecting it to be like procedural in how it presented fragments of story. And then to have like a final chapter that tied all the non-linear sections together. Which I mean, it's still going to do that, but it's just the player gets to choose which sections they see and do first. And the order in which they do most of this. Which is not quite what I thought was going to happen. I haven't seen Joshua come by, uh, by the gallery in quite some time. The boy from the fourth floor, remember? Usually stops by on a weekly basis. Why don't you check up on him tomorrow before you open up? No, how I worry. It's probably nothing signed Sarah. Fourth floor. Now I just have to find a way to get up there. This is the worst stairway ever conceived of. Perhaps because it is not a, it was not supposed to be used as a stair. Whoa, way. Coming to, uh, they're coming back to get old Gerald. Been looking over my shoulder ever since I got back home. Time to hold up underground. Fuckers will never find me down there. Maybe I'll come back once the whole mess blows over. Gerald Wallace, Disabled Vet, 4th Division. Oh my god, the light moving and casting the shadow against this guy scared the shit out of me. Oh, I didn't like that. <laughs> These notes seem almost too conveniently placed. Yeah, like somebody wants me to read their whole manuscript. Let me just get, give some light edits here. Strange things have been happening lately. Alice, Mr. A have been missing for a while now. Am I next? JR must have something to do with this. On the other hand, Galfang doesn't even know about my relation to Alice. Can't be his cronies, Josh. Met JR downstairs at the gallery about a year ago, back when I first moved in. Both of us had an affinity for fine arts, so we got along well. He was much older, but I never felt like he was talking down to me. At the time, he was working as a private eye. A few months after I met him, he up and vanished, not a single trace. A few weeks later, he returned out of the blue, except it wasn't him. Of course, physically it was, but something was so far off about his personality. JR said he was working for Gao Feng. Now, uh, he knew Gao had been attempting to extort my dad's nightclub business. I was pissed. He was indifferent. So to meet him at the Golden Dragon in Chinatown, if I ever got over it, fuck that. Sounds like Chinatown is my next stop. JM plus AT. This note is pathetic. Alice doesn't even like me. There's a mad rhythm to that piano. That's mm, doing a good job. Angry piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, Kaze. Is everything all right with you? We haven't seen you at the gallery recently. By the way, we have about... Uh, 25 minutes left of uh, Heliophobia. If y'all want to play Deceit with me, which is free to play on Steam, it's a multiplayer horror game, uh, go ahead and install that now. Also, Diablo 3 is coming up after that, and we are going to play that together as well. Uh, is everything all right with you? We haven't seen you at the gallery recently. Did you finally muster the courage to ask about the this that Alice girl? You've always spoken kindly of her. Anyway, we have a new exhibition open this month. Come by when you get a chance. Sarah Rodriguez. Oh. Oh wow, that was it for this one. Oh, congrats on the move, Wayward. It's the encore room. That's the one we just did. Oh, another encore room. Uh, we know, I think we've been in here as well. Yeah.
aliens and some kind of triad nonsense going on. And a Gemini society. Who I guess are alien worshippers. Or adherents. Do we need a key card? Look at this cool art. Alexander Crystal Seer sees your life from the cradle to the grave. This is a pretty cool game. I don't think there have been any abject stinkers during Halloween. Like, Rise of Insanity, I'll keep saying it was problematic, but I was having a good time with it. Or dog bites? Okie dokie. Well, that section's more well lit, so I'm guessing this exists so I can duck in if a train comes. Damn. Damn. Everyone's been acting so weird lately. How did we lose four key cards in a week? I found two of them just clean out of the bathrooms. I've got enough work to do around here. Okay, so there are two left. Or that means I think that I he... can use this to get into the break room. In real time, that means that he put the two there that I just picked up. Uh, it means that there are possibly two more to find in the level. I'm getting real tired of working these night shifts. Crazy hobos always try to post up in the bathrooms. One of them tried to jump me while uh, a while back. Give him a good beating and send him on his way. Always gotta be on your toes, Chris. In case the hobo murders. Oh, okay. I wonder if the key cards are either consumable or specific to uh, certain locks. Because I haven't had an indication that that's the case yet. Also, I want to keep following this around. Until it dead ends me or, or I loop. Ah, huh, huh. huh. Okay, they are specific to certain locks. I can't, I probably can't jump high enough. That's why the shortcut exists. Fair enough. So that's what one of those two key cards that we found is for. Okay, then it's this one. B. So it's C, and then the one at the end of the hall, I believe, was D. So we need a C and a D key card. It's just classic horror. Key card hunting. Get that note in a second. Uh? Oh, that's going to be bad in a minute. Hi. Here the Chinatown stations much safer at night. Those mobsters don't let the riffraff in their neighborhood. Maybe I'll try to get uh try to get moved over there. Heck, it's just down the tunnel. It's not like it'd be out of my way. Damn it. Cleared her head. Mm. So far, everyone we have come across has either been crying inconsolably or dead. You know why I love this footstep sound so much? Why I love it so much, I should, I, I get, I should say? Fuck, I hate that, though. It's because it brings me immediately back to Alien vs. Predator 2, which is one of my favorite games ever. I don't know how I don't have that as a Halloween game, actually. <laughs> it's the exact noise that they use, so I always just associate it whenever I hear it, and it's a very common sound effect, that exact uh, great uh, footstep sound. Like that metal grate sound. It's the exact one every time. 
is the arrow pointing here? I actually didn't take, like, proper inventory of my surroundings when I came in, so let me just check again. Yeah, it always just brings me right back to ABB, too. Just hearing that all the time. Okay, so... Oh, that's not an arrow. That would be the outline of a body. This is a ginormous stall. Which, hey, fair enough. Train? Fucking! Running at this hour? You never know when you're going to flush in. There's going to be a key card left over. Well, there you go for this. Man, I don't like that red glowing evil light in the bathroom. Hmm, no thanks. Just gonna go ahead and investigate that anyway, though. Because video games, gotta. Oh, hey! Maybe we don't have to. Visiting Chinatown is just down the tracks from here. Pay my respects to Gao. Stick a knife in that fat fucking pig for me. All you want. Everyone in this goddamn city will. Ah! Of course. So, why is this stall so evil? Why is this stall very, very evil? Ah. Could really do with that thing moving the fuck away. Uh, what are my options? Because as soon as I step out, he's defo gonna see me. Jesus Christ almighty. I think I just have to make it to the other vent. Wow, the first time I tried to run from one, it was way faster than me, I thought. says, I, oh, great, I don't have enough weird bathroom dreams. <laughs> well, that's the nature of how it goes, right? Oh, fuck, another one. Oh! Shit! Why are you here? I mean, get by you either way, but, like, I would really prefer you to not be here. That would be the coolest. Tell him, oh, is it? Oh shit! We looped. We did the loop. We did the monster loop. We're in a graveyard of poop. So this is all connected now. So we also have the D key card now, which where do we use that? So we need to get to the other side of this, I believe. Do we have to open that for why would we have to open that from the other side? You went in a circle. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm screwed. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. 
I'm running for it though. I'm making. Ah! Damn it! Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck. Come on. Shit. Nope. Oh my god, that was all intended. God. I need a second. This is a good game. <laughs> this is a pretty strong one. What do y'all think? <laughs> That's such a good way to use a jump scare, too. Because it's not only for the startling effect. It's a monster jumping out at you, causing alarm, making you panic, possibly making you make a mistake, and then chasing you. So there's a follow-through to that. There's this high-tension chase. And then they use another one. And it's just, you're already being chased at this Chinatown. point, so it's a jump scare it's during a, a chase sequence, which is so good because you're be a great spot for late night meals. Your mind is on anything but like, oh, I'm about something's about to startle me. Like you're already there, the tension is already high. God damn! I just want to dissect that. Weird how little I've seen something like that happen in a game. Books wanted for a men in camp. Yeah, there's there's some kind of war with the aliens going on here. Okay. If you found this place, you're either a new recruit or some kind of street urchin. Either way, boss doesn't want you hiring mindless goons. Want us hiring mindless goons. Solve our little riddle and maybe you can meet him. Uh, see you with the golden dragon. Clue number one, people line up for hours to get a good dumpling around here. Thing is, nobody know what, knows what the hell the sculpture is on the wall. In my opinion, they're just not looking at it right. <sighs> okay, we're at Herbal Remedies. There's a psychic advisor. And a family kitchen? Foreclosed. And there's a dumpling palace. On the other side of the street, one up. Let's see. So this is all to get into the Golden Dragon. We want to go to the dumpling place. Okay. Well, before we do that, if we can get in here, we should. I love all of these. Normally, I'd never go to a place like this. Like the. But what have I got to lose? Like the crude simulacrum of, of people. But I guess they actually are people. They're just represented in game like that. Do you really think we'd be hiding in the uh, hiding the clue in such an obvious spot? Scrape the gum out of your ears. I mean, I didn't come in here expecting that clue, but huh. fuck off. Or if I need to find something to break that. Damn it. Worked before. Oh well. We're probably gonna get sent back here from the dumpling place, but figured might as well check it out in the first place. I wonder if that's that's the plane that I was on before and I'm in the body of a different character. This is probably the only time I've ever seen a single table free at this place. I, I didn't pay much attention to her voice before when I was on the plane. That'd certainly be a way to do a non-linear story like this. 
Okay, so the clue was about the statue in the back? They don't mean this big ass thing, do they? One, two, three, four. This is not the clue you were looking for. They said that people weren't looking at it from the right angle, so. Oh. Clue number two. I've heard that psychics are just a load of bullshit. Smoke and mirrors, or maybe we're all missing the point. Too focused on that crystal ball to notice what's right next to us. Okay, so I broke the crystal ball already. That didn't appear to be exactly what I was looking for, but I think I may have been on the right track. So right beside us. So we that would be the chair that we're sitting in. Or that we would be sitting in if we were getting a reading. Haha. -ha. Natural cures, tinctures, salves, whatever you call them. This neighborhood will uh, swear by them, tradition and all. There's always a little extra behind the counter if you know how to ask. Um... What was that other place? There was, uh, like an herbal supply place, right? No, meat supply? Can you just double check that? Oh no, it was herbal remedies. Okay, yeah. A little behind the counter. Huh. I wonder. What if it glows in the dark? I'll shit myself. Um, nothing is jumping out. Do we have a suggestion here? If you know how to ask. I wonder if I can break the TV open or open this up. Nope, can't open the till. It's behind the garbage can? I didn't even realize I could move that. These openable, new. Maybe down the alley. That's like. Whoa, fuck. Come on. Come on, game. Chill. Uh, that's a good idea. I don't think I really went down here. Ah, oh, boy. Spooky noises. We're back to this shit, huh? What are they keeping in these strange jars? Doesn't look there like we go. Rem Thank you. That helped. A uh, good supplier keeps the restaurants around here running. Places like that never close as long as you head around back. Good supply. Okay, the meat supply place. Do you know how bad it must sink in there? Ventilation holds the key. Nobody I've ever seen. People automatically think these notes have some sort of significance. Why else would we write them? Maybe you should ask yourself the opposite. Why wouldn't we? Cool. Cool prank, brah. This has been a nice down-tempo chapter after how intense things got. Uh, so the meat supply place is right here. I'm just going to pat myself on the back. Because uh, I think I've been doing a much better job than usual. Uh, at not getting super lost and super stuck. This Halloween. Now is the part where I jinx myself super bad and just do that and spend the next 10 minutes of floundering. Is this where all the meat around here comes from? Uh-huh. Wow, these are not good textures. Done it. Great job solving the riddle. Now go jump off the nearest building. Don't call us. We'll call you.
Oh, they're chicken. That's chicken noises I'm hearing. Okay. So speak right of the devil. Guessing that's the red herring note. Got a body. Great. Love that. Not really seeing anything. From a different angle. Oh, I just heard a grate or something. That might actually be literal. Don't call us, we'll call you, or jump off at the nearest building. I wonder if that's the case. Can we even go into the meat supply place from the front entrance? What about this? Oh. Yeah, I didn't know if I tried it or not. So... Is there a way even up onto any of these buildings? Or a phone anywhere? Yeah. This was also the thing about it holding the key, which I'm guessing is a literal key? To this? Golden Dragons close to the public during curfew hours if you're still looking... Oh, there's a curfew. To join the party, head over to the souvenir shop by the subway entrance. Don't go causing any trouble while you're at it. Souvenir shop by the subway entrance. That's not the place we started, is it? It is, right? Because that's the first clue. It's that ventilation holds the key, right? Okay. So, uh, probably a vent. I was actually planning on rechecking the note in a second. Let's see, though. Let's see if we can do this one in the next uh, three minutes. Now, is there... Oh, wait, maybe I can climb. Like, ah, yeah, 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 great. Great work, whoever you are. If you want to meet the boss, take this key and come by the Golden Dragon after hours. No funny business, you should know the risk by now. F fucking radical. Got it. Now I can get into the And we the were Golden taught Dragon. that earlier. We were taught that earlier when we had to do the platforming on the vent. So that's actually totally reasonable to expect the player to think to jump up there. All right, fair enough. Fucking good shit. If the head of Chinatown is holed up in the Golden Dragon, then I need to arrange a meeting before those bastards catch up to me again. There's so many of these games that I feel like I want to come back to. Like, we, again, we have not had a bad game during Halloween so far, and we're now halfway through the second night. Uh, sorry, the third night. And with that, we are going to move on to Deceit. See you guys in a second. If you want to play together, make sure you go and install it. Be right back.